What's going on everyone? This is your boy, Chains of Tyranny, and I am making a short and brief prelude to a video which is going to be much longer in duration on a particular operating system known as Hunix. It is a full uh, GNU Linux based operating system for the explicit purpose of the advanced configuration of anonymity providing or enhancing software. Okay. So, first and foremost, keep the updater up here. This right here is uh, Ubuntu 13.1, and Hunix is the uh, operating system we'll be taking a look at in a moment. But basically, I, I can't go into a long um, exposition of how the technology works for the fact that it would literally entail an hour and a half, probably. Uh, hour and a half video just to explain because Hunix works on the Tor, uh, the Onion Router network, but it enhances it. The Onion Router, you would first have to know how that technology works and how it conducts itself and the protocols for the uh, exchange of communications and data. Basically, um, Tor was originally created by the United States Navy, it is military grade technology. Hunix comes and takes, um, it does, it, they don't work in conjunction with the developers of Tor per se, but they work um, on a side project, which is Hunix, which takes everything about your computer and runs it through the Tor network. So whereas you would be more susceptible to malware or infectious and malicious software code if you simply used Tor. Many people use Tor and are presumptuous enough to assume that they automatically that hey I'm using Tor nobody can um, compromise my network or my data I'm not susceptible to man in the middle attacks I can't be hacked that is not true by the very nature of Tor and the manner in which it works the exit nodes themselves are um, basically men in the middle they're they're men in the middle because they they decrypt all your data and the destination for the, the IP for the destination server. So, Hunix, um, it's not really geared toward average computer users. You could say that Tour is geared toward the paranoid. Journalists, dissidents, especially in countries like China, they have a great uh, national firewall over there. People like to circumvent the firewall. So, journalists, political dissidents, um, law enforcement agencies, militaries, um, you've got your malicious hackers that hang out there as well. Hunix is basically for those um, who are power users of Tor, who use it excessively, especially individuals who host what are known as hidden sites or hidden services where they conduct illegal operations and illegal businesses. They would want to use Hunix because it's automatically pre-configured to route everything through Tor, um, if you, you can Google a little bit and you can read about how some people, especially if you heard about Silk Road, the infamous drug website where you could literally purchase any drug of your heart's desire. You heard about the Dread Pirate Roberts getting busted. Well, that wasn't due to necessarily a, a comprom you know, compromise in the tour network itself. That was due to his own inadvertent errors. However, there are other individuals who have been caught using Tor and been arrested subsequently. And it also wasn't through compromising the Tor network in and of itself, but rather the injection of malicious code into the web browser itself, which basically made the computer in the background go out of the Tor network and request, uh, it reroutes it to a particular server so they can get your IP, find out what, what you're doing and where you're at. So it takes you out of Tor. Hunix uses or utilizes what's known as um, physical isolation. It has two it has two it's a whole operating system and it runs in a virtual machine. So right now I'm technically running two oper operating systems simultaneously on one piece of hardware, one computer, one hard drive. But what it does, it has a workstation and it has a router and they keep them physically isolated so that DNS and IP leaks are impossible. Not, oh, it probably won't happen. 
No, it is physically impossible. It can't leak it. The only way that this uh, software could be compromised theoretically at the moment is if your host operating system, which in this case is Ubuntu 13.1, is compromised or has malware on it. Then, obviously, if the host operating system is compromised, then any subsequent operating system you run through a virtual machine is subject to being compromised as well, and you're no longer hidden. Now, um, quick look at it. I'm going to scroll down. Got my virtual box right here. Gonna. Oh, where are you at? There you go. Now, we can. Who next? This is what I'm running. The other. That, that's the gateway, and that's the workstation. This one right here, I've already logged into Tor, and if you notice, my mouse changed colors. That's because I don't have right now um, additional installations which support mouse integration and the reason being is because the installations themselves would allow an additional um, communication process between the host operating system and the virtual machine software and I don't want to do that I don't I want to keep them as separate as possible which is the purpose of Unix now it says I'm configured to use Tor and that's my IP address so first and foremost we'll see where it says I'm located It's not going to be the United States of America, I assure you that. No. Nope. Do it. Okay, it doesn't work like Google, I guess. Won't work like your regular browser. Okay. Now. This is encrypted. Notice how it's not just HTTPS, which is a level of encryption as well. This is encryption through the Tor network. Okay. And. I am in Iceland. Okay. The number of this IP address refers to Iceland. So right now, anybody watching me thinks I'm in Iceland. Now. Basically, the necessities of running a virtual machine require the virtual machine software, which is free. Um, it also requires your hardware, your computer, to support virtualization. Um, you can check the BIOS, but if it's a newer computer, chances are it probably supports it. And I would recommend a minimum of 8 gigs of RAM, 8 gigabyte of RAM, to be able to run the virtual machine. Now, now I'm running 16 gig on mine, and I've got like 5,000 allocated toward each um, workstation, and the remainder for the host operating system, and I subdivided my CPUs as well. We won't get into that because this is a brief overview. So, now this is why people would use this. You could uh, let's do URL. Damn they busted this one too. Okay. Now I'm not worried about surfing to the website because it's not like I'm not anonymous. Get rid of the additional tabs. They just eat bandwidth in the background. You don't want that. While we do this. Oh, oh, we're going to click here to join. Username. How about... How about Hoonix? Hoonix with a happy face. Fuck the police. I'm going to do fuck the police. And if you're... Um... federal agent watching my Facebook page conducting analysis on me. Fuck you too. Okay. Who next, baby? Who next is great. It's basically tour with a shot of steroids in the ass. Okay. Uh, who next? It's going to take just a second here. Bear with me. 
I guess you could say this is good though, that I have to literally start an account, let you know I'm not on it all the time. Okay. Unix. And obviously the captcha or whatever, you, however you pronounce it, uh, merely indicates that I am not a a robot or a machine, a, a script running in the background. And here's where you can get all your stuff: money, medical, lab supplies, jewelry. Okay, most of it's highly illegal, if not all of it. Let's do psychedelics. I am Hoonix. Remember, who nixes is the operating system? Check it out. If you want to know more about it, just Google it. Use your Google foo. Who nix, um, FAQ. Switch here. One second. Okay, huh. we're gonna zoom in. 57 unread messages. I will get back to y'all, but it's gonna be a minute. <laughs> okay, now. Back to this. Oh, look. You can now, Bit Bitcoin is volatile, the exchange rate, it changes a lot, so you can obviously change that or, or, or check out what the exchange rate is. But generally, it tends to be about street value or street price. Same you'd buy on the street. Maybe a little bit more expensive, but I mean, who will deliver this stuff to your front door, you know? <laughs> okay. I know the majority of you are probably... Um, into medicinal marijuana so we'll, we'll check out see what's available shroom powder and this is why people go through the effort or such an intense effort of remaining anonymous using tor in and of itself is excellent it's very 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 good technology i mean literally governments use it it is military and government grade technology this just steps it up a notch and the reason why it's going slow, you'd have to know how the the, uh, the network operates. How it works, but... What is this? Uh, I don't even know what some of this stuff is. I'm just trying to find the weed on here for y'all. Okay. Let's take your time. And yes, you really can order this stuff and buy it and they will they will oh shrooms they will drop it off to you DMT I've heard that's worth trying I don't know I've never tried it digital goods herbs medical services there will be weed on here you just gotta surf to it this is basically like your Walmart sitting in your living room Personally, if I were going to order something like this, I would probably not do it on my own Wi-Fi connection. I would probably go to um, like a McDonald's or a Burger King or something, and I may not even utilize Hunix. I may just boot straight from a live USB, which automatically, you know, it doesn't have persistent storage. So if I run like, let's say, Tails OS, it's a Linux distro as well. If I boot into that, it doesn't have persistent storage, so it won't actually save anything I do on a hard drive, and it will erase and write and explicitly write over all of the RAM, so you won't even be able to tell that, you know, no one could con conducting forensic analysis of the hard drive could tell that you were on the computer. Ooh. Look. Free sample. Can't beat that. One, gr one gram uncut pure cocaine. 
Look at that, MDMA. Anyone who uh, questions the validity of this marketplace, just Google. Use, use your Google and read about it, trust me. Congress is trying to shut it down, as well as the government. Lots of governments all over the world. Oh, that looks good. Coca from Colombia, free shipping worldwide. And that comes from France. That comes from our brethren, very close brethren in the United Kingdom. The homies up in the Netherlands. My uh, German kinfolk. I'm, I'm of German origin. Okay. Let's go up here. Let's do... Cannabis. There we go. I knew it was up there somewhere. Just gonna let this load for a moment. A few words from the Dread Pirate Robots. And this is how you buy drugs online. Well, it's not really how you buy it, it's how you surf it. I mean, you could, you could figure it out. But, they've got a, like an FAQ on here. I think it's at the bottom of the site, actually. Where they tell you, like, security measures and precautions to take when conducting illicit business online. Huge market though. Huge market. Yeah, that's probably that right there. You have to stand, understand that it's a uh, bouncing around and encrypting my communications all over the world. That way it's not traceable back to me. That's why it takes if a little bit longer to load. And I think I did have software in the background. Yeah, I've, I've, see, I've got software being in the background, slowing it down a little bit. Okay, we'll do that later. And this is, you get disassociatives, cannabis, steroids, ecstasy, opiates, other precursors, prescriptions, psychedelic stimulants, drugs, alcohol, you know, um, what, counterfeit money? What do you, what do you want? You can, you can get anything you want. And this isn't the only marketplace, trust me. There's a whole world out there you don't even know about. Because you sit in front of your fucking TV and watch Duck Dynasty. No offense to the gentleman uh, who, whose show that belongs to, whose lives it's about, whose family um, portrays a very large portion of of the American population in regard to culture. Now, look at that. Ooh, blue cheddar. Looks pretty good. That amnesia haze. That's from, oh, Amsterdam import. Weed sample pack. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Get your weed. Get you some Jamaican. Get you an ounce of Jamaican right there. That looks damn good. Look at that. Oh. I can just. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah. And he's not telling you where he's shipping from, which is generally the best idea. Ships worldwide except Australia. And then ch -ch 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 -ch. shipping options, obviously. Let's. Ooh, how are we gonna do this? Not having mouse integration at the moment is kind of hurting a little bit. Okay, there we go. And tells you a little bit. Basically, I don't want to make this video too long because it's it, that's not the purpose of it. The purpose is a prelude to the video I'm going to do later on the entire uh, advanced configuration and installation of the, the technology. So, oh no. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and power it off. We'll power this. 
this one off. That's where you can do your personal stuff. Dude. Anyways. Okay. We'll go back to it. Go to settings. This right here is your Oracle Virtual Machine Manager. Okay. You want a virtual machine. That's how you run this operating system. It's a complete operating system in and of itself without Ubuntu. It's literally, this would be like you running Microsoft here. Where I'm pointing the mouse and running an Apple operating system like OS X Mountain Lion, which I show you in one of my other videos in here. Notice how I've allocated uh, my RAM 5,000 megabytes of memory. I've put three processors, I've got eight processors, so I put three, three, and let the host have two, which you don't have to do. Video memory, I did the 3D accelerations of the graphics. Now, you can change that in settings. We'll start with system. Motherboard, that's where you can configure your memory. That's how much memory I have. You on your system probably have four gigabytes or less, but I'm a hacker, so I've got to have a shitload. It's got processors, three on it. This is where you can basically mess with the uh, video memory, 3D acceleration. Just tweak your settings a little bit. But basically, all you have to do to get it is this. Bam. Who next? I wouldn't use it on a Windows operating system except perhaps for experimentation purposes. Um, if you're going to be using it to, to go under the radar, you'll want to go with a secure open source operating system. A GNU Linux based or Unix like, it, it depends, but I mean... See, you want to go with one of those. Anyways, all you have to do is download each. I don't want to. I hope it goes to the download page. Okay, yeah. What you want to do is download that one and that one. Verify the signatures. That's not hard at all. It's a little bit different in uh, Linux, so I'm not going to show you because I use the command line interface to type in the code. But verify the signature to make sure it's from the official source and not, you know, injected with malicious code, which governments and security like intelligence agencies will do for the unsuspecting or lazy, um, I guess, hacker, you could say, or individual who doesn't go through the trouble of verifying the signature. Download those two. Download the signatures. Um, and then all you have to do is run it. It comes in a for, for Linux. It comes in a dot .ova file, and make sure you have the virtual machine installed too. It'll automatically hook it up and it's ready to go. Once it does, like you'll click on it and open it. It'll configure it take a couple minutes, and then it'll pop up in there. And then all you have to do, it'll have really low settings for your memory. Just set it higher, not too high, but set it a little bit higher, and give it some more CPUs, and you're good to go. You can try it out. And to access the hidden websites of the Onion Network, just um, generally to get you started, Google URL to the hidden wiki and copy and paste it inside the Hunix uh, workstation and you're good. So, this was a brief tutorial of the Hunix operating system. I appreciate your time in viewing this and hope to see you back in the future.